Van Dyke is back in court today to find out when his sentencing hearing will start. And with the time he will serve behind bars still up in the air, I caught up with one of the Cook County citizens who made this a reality. This is the first televised one on one with a juror from the case that rock Chicago. As Jason Van Dyke awaits sentencing for the murder of Laquan McDonald, we're hearing from one of the jurors who decided his fate. Well, we were there to do a job. We had no time to feel sorry for nobody. We saw the evidence. We have to rule on the evidence. Charlene Cook was the only black juror in a historic case with racial tensions at the forefront. Did you feel any weight or pressure from that? No, I thought I would at first, but after I got there, we all introduced ourselves to one another and started talking about our family lives and you know, just ages and, you know, so it, it was all smooth. I had my doubts on everything and my, you know, the way I felt because 16 times being shot, but I wanted to go in with open mind. Cook and her fellow jury members had to watch the infamous Laquan McDonald dash cam footage multiple times. That had to be really tough to watch. Right, after a while, the very first time I saw it, I swallowed because it, it hit home because I was thinking this guy would have been 21 years old. I have a 21 year old grandson. Mm. So to see that, you know, my heart just went out to the family. Deliberations took only seven and a half hours, but Cook says that does not mean the verdict came easy. Were there any jurors that were unsure or that, uh, you know, maybe challenged things a little bit or kind of waffled back and forth a little bit? Yes, we had a couple of ladies. Yeah. At the end, we all had came to the conclusion, okay, we're going to go with second degree. And then she's, one particular lady started crying. You know, she, I, she felt sorry for his family. She felt sorry for him. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't feel that way because, you know, it was no winners in this situation. Why did you guys come to the second degree murder uh, verdict and the 16 counts of aggravated battery? It got a little heated for a minute with that because some were saying, oh, let's go for two shots, three shots, but how could you tell what shot was the main shot? The point was it was overkill, so we all agreed with that. So in order to agree with the shots, you had to go from one to 16. You couldn't say, okay, one, and then let's do 12. What has life been like for you after the trial's over? Uh, it's weird meeting people in the street when they walk up and say they know you and you know they don't, mm. you know, but I haven't had any negative. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm honored, you know, to have been chosen and more so honored that, you know, that I could represent, you know, and I'm, I don't want to sound boastful or anything, but I'm glad that they picked me. Now, Jason Van Dyke is currently in protective custody. He will be in court for a pretrial hearing this morning and is expected to be sentenced before the year ends.